<laughs> it's a Halloween. So we are out today to look for bats. Right? But actually, uh, if I let the bat smell my blood, will the bat fly on my finger and suck on the blood? Huh? Then what if I tell you that all of the bats, right, they don't actually have echolocation? Well, let's find out about that in our little red jungle. Wow, look, now you have so many plants and animals. <laughs> Hey, hello. So, it is that time of the year again where I must create a spooky video, right? But do you know what is actually truly spooky or not? Hmm? It's that we as a society have so many myths and misconceptions and overgeneralizations about bats, right? And so today, we are going to break it down. So if you're ready, let's go. <laughs> So, myth number one is that Bats uh, drink blood Ha 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 Very funny, right? Because there are actually over 1,400 species of bats all around the world And among all of them, only three of them actually drink blood And guess what? None of them are in Singapore, right? Your vampire bats can only be found in South and Central America Instead, right, we can actually group bats in two other better categories, right? Which are your fruit bats, also known as your mega bats, and your more insectivorous and carnivorous micro bats, right? Which, of course, includes your three vampire bats, right? And in Singapore, we have about like 25 bat species. And the most common one that you usually would find flying around is actually the lesser dog faced fruit bat. Okay, so right now I'm here at a neighbourhood park and you see these bats are clearly eating fruits, right? And this one is eating the fruit of the jiku tree. So to be honest, if I put some blood out for it, it probably won't even care, much less come and suck it up. And it is actually fairly easy to differentiate between the fruit and nectar-eating mega bat and the insect-eating micro bat, right? Even when they're flying all around. Because it's all in their name, right? Mega bat means bigger lah, huh? and then micro bat means smaller, right? And another thing that you can take note of is also where they're flying around at, right? So if they are big, big and flying around trees, then mega bats or your fruit bats or nectar eating bats, right? And then if they are smaller and then they are hunting in the sky or around areas that don't really have trees, like you know, this longkang over here, then most probably it's a micro bat. Myth number two is that bats are all blind and they use echo location, 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 ow, ow, location, location, ah. So, okay, so this one is definitely a generalization, right? Because for your mega bats, they don't actually echolocate, right? Because physiologically, just physiologically, they don't have the right body parts to make those clicking noises that is required for echolocation. So instead, as you can see from their big eyes, most mega bats rely on sight and smell when foraging for fruits and nectar. Which definitely makes more sense, lah, right? Because if you think about it, fruits and nectar so strong smelling, then for what I go and use echo to find them, right? But so just follow the smell, right? Like if I go and use echo, then I find some random ball, then I think it's a fruit, then I go eat it, then what's the point? Right? Follow the smell. Okay, and then even for your micro bats, Although yes, they do echolocate and their eyes are way smaller, like just a dot, right? They are still not actually completely blind, right? They can still see larger shapes. And so when you say as blind as a bat, that's not exactly true. Uh, okay, myth number three is that all bats sleep in caves, right? This one is an overgeneralization. Because yes, although bats do sleep or roost in caves, right? Actually, a lot of them also sleep in a lot of other places, right? Like even in Singapore, we've got so many caves to begin with, right? And so for like our more common lesser dog-faced fruit bat, I've seen them roosting in places like this, right? Just on the ceiling of this shelter at Sungai Bulo. Or under our road flyovers. And of course, on trees. 
and some of our own micro beds, right? Like our local whiskered myotis, they will also hide and roost in the curls of banana leaves. So as long as it is a good spot for them to just like hang upside down, right? Then it is a potential bed for beds. Myth number four is that bats can fly like birds. So yes, although bats are the only mammals capable of true flight, right, instead of like gliding like your flying squirrel or your kalugos, which by the way, we also had an episode on. But yeah, bats still don't actually fly like birds because it is not as easy for them to lift off directly from the ground, right? And that's because their wings are not as powerful as your birds, lah, right? And they also cannot like start off by running off their grounds because they have weak and puny legs. And so the easiest way for them to initiate their flight is through gravity. And all they need to do, right, is to just fall, open up their wings, and then from there, they can just start to swoop down and fly back up and turn and do whatever they want in the sky. But yes, talking about being upside down, I just want to talk about how magnificent the body of the bat is. Unlike mine. <laughs> right? Yes. Ah, but yes, even for like us humans, right? When we hang on a monkey bar or a pull-up bar, it takes a lot of effort, right? And when we get tired, we drop. Okay, but with bats, they are just built different, right? Because it takes no effort for them to just hang there. Right? Because they have muscle tendons that work in a way where once they use their nails to hook onto whatever crack or crevice there is, and once gravity pulls them down, it actually auto-locks their tendons in place, right? And they can just hang there. And actually quite the opposite, uh, it takes the conscious effort for them to just let go instead. And by the way, uh, they do need to let go and turn right side up, you know, whenever they need to poo poo and pee pee while they're resting, right? They don't just pee on themselves, correct or not? And I actually found this super awesome video documenting that that you can find in the description below. Whee! And lastly, number five, right? Which are bats are scary, huh? And then if you touch them, huh, you'll gonna a lot of diseases. Well, the truth is, bats do have the potential to spread diseases, right? But the other truth is, isn't that the same for every wild animal? Right, so to be honest, bats are generally harmless, right? And it's not so much of like, oh, you touch the fur, then you will get a lot of diseases, right? It's more so of if you handle a bat, there's a potential of it biting you. And any bite from any wild animal has a potential to be very dangerous. So again, it is an issue of you should not handle any wild animal, right? Unless if you're working for acres or end parks and you're trained to do so, lah, right? But if not, do not touch or, or handle any wild animal, right? And at the same time, we should not vilify bats because to be honest, bats are very important to our forests and to Singapore because thanks to our mega bats, they of course help with seed dispersal and flower pollination. Right, and even for like our durian, right? Durian flowers actually bloom at night and they are pollinated by bats. And as for our micro bats, they actually help to regulate and control the population of insects like your moths and your mosquitoes, right? So unless you want all these insects to start flying to your house at night, then maybe we just need to appreciate these wonderful bats that we have all around us just a little more. And yeah, so that is all we have for today's episode. But again, before we go, I'd like to give a big shout out to my patrons. Mr. Chu, Mr. Chu, Sportman, you know, no, 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 England, HR Queen, Limpets, Muffin, Jets, Pingo, Master Jablo, Tango, Amadillo, Neko Sama, Uncle Sam, Amelia, Uncle Kyung, Fauzi, Wailenor, Crooked Spider, Low Eli, Big Three Circles, Amy, Lul, Quack Quack, Mama and Momo, Pixel, Ama and Shelby. Thank you so much for supporting this channel directly and if you would like to do the same, you can find the link to my Patreon down in the description below. Do also follow me on my other social media platforms and subscribe to watch more videos of our local ecology. Thanks again for watching. And remember, keep your eyes peeled because there's a jungle out there. And I just want to say like Happy Halloween and I want to show you this extra footage that I found of this uh, dead bat over here you know, when I was out filming in the day. Uh, yeah, it's so sad, like doubly scary cause it's a date and it's a bet. But, okay, happy Halloween. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>